I suppose the answer to that is in the uh, the title of the conference itself, BIM Prospects. Salibri is a BIM product. We can only work in a BIM process and more specifically in an open BIM process. So the two go hand in hand really. Um, this is the second time that we've uh, been involved with BIM Prospects and um, consequently um, that's, that's, that's why we're here. That's a hell of a good question. Um, and I think if you ask 10 different people, you get 10 different answers on that. So I can't give a quantitative um, answer to the question. But what I will say is I don't think the industry is as close as it thinks it is to delivering level two. And I certainly don't think it's as close as it would like to be to delivering level two. We have some way to go yet. There's two ways that we can look at this. We can look at um, how do we upskill the existing industry or how can we ensure that people coming into the industry have the requisite skills. In terms of the former, um, it's something that we have to address through institutions uh, actually going into organisations and working with them to upskill their uh, people. But in the long term, we have to address the raw material, the people coming into the industry. I think part of the problem is that if we look at the universities, the people who are actually teaching uh, aren't themselves BIM experienced. So it's almost a case of the blind leading the blind. I think the only solution is that we have to get back to the days of the maybe the 70s or 80s when we had things called industrial professional apprenticeships where industry was working within the universities to ensure that the skills that were being produced were the skills that industry required. So we have to address this at source. The main concern still is that BIM is uh, a new and in many respects an alien process to the, to the industry. Change is, is always traumatic in a business and so that is the overriding uh, problem I think. Having said that, now the realisation is here and uh, a lot of organisations are part way down their BIM journey, they're beginning to realise that it's the next steps which now are crucial. And two of the things that I'm finding that uh, I'm hearing on a regular basis is the one that we've already touched on, the skills shortage or the potential skills shortage in the industry. And secondly, the need to engage the supply chain. BIM is collaboration, you can't collaborate by yourself. So unless we can engage the supply chain and transfer the skills down there, we have a danger that this thing could stop in its tracks. In my opinion, um, there are two things. First of all, it has to be led from the top. Uh, BIM is a change process within the business itself. So the first thing is to engage at the highest levels in the business and get the, the push coming down from that direction. And the second thing, which I repeatedly say to clients, is that if you are embarking on uh, BIM, it is a change process, therefore you need to define very clearly what your process is and do that before you go out and buy any software. There are too many organisations which buy the software and think that they're doing BIM. It's the other way around.